David Wilcox, and this is the David Wilcox Signature Edition. It's got my name in it! <laughs> How about that? Not only does it have a simple little signature, but it has some really cool changes that I love that uh, really help me get the sound that I'm after. And of course, one of the most important things yeah. is since I, I tune this uh, so low, I mean, right now the bass string's down to B, but a lot of times it's down to A and sometimes lower. So I need a neck that doesn't pull back when the strings get low. Uh, and this carbon fiber is so unbelievably strong. And I like the model that does not have the springy little truss rod in the middle. This neck's plenty strong, it doesn't need it. And that way, instead of the, the spring pulling the neck back when the, uh, when the strings get loosened, it stays nice and straight. So uh, this means that I can tune the guitar super low and still keep the action reasonable. And uh, this particular model has the different tuning pegs. They have the different ratio that makes it really fine, accurate for me. And check this out. On the bridge pins, instead of having that nice curve uh, like it was a wood guitar and you needed to, uh, you know, not have the, the wood be drilled along the grain, uh, since this is carbon fiber anyway, the, the pegs are sloped back so that there's more room so that the break angle isn't so high over this pickup. That allows, um, if you want to intonate it back like I do and have uh, the bass string set a little bit high, you, you don't have the uh, pin in the way, so you can do that. It also has not just one, but two um, sound sources. This one is a stereo uh, from not only the magnetic pickup, but there's also a mic inside. And, uh, and then there's the Fishman electronics that run off of the saddle pickup. And uh, so the combination of these, each of these has their own strength and weakness, and it's fun to use just the strength of each pickup and, uh, and be able to have them work as a choir, as a team, so you can uh, be impervious to feedback and get a really accurate, complex sound out of the guitar. And uh, so all in all, it, uh, it makes it so that the guitar not only sounds great in the living room, nice and loud and bright, this material is really optimized with their design uh, to really shine. And so when I first came to these guitars, it was because I didn't want to waste all my time and energy worrying when I traveled with a precious instrument that felt like they had my heart out there being thrown around by the baggage guys. And this, this is an instrument that makes me relax whenever I travel and I can check it in a soft case and it, there's never anything to worry about and when it gets there it has a sound that moves people and uh, so it's a great combination for me. You notice that when you see a reflection in the top of the guitar like looking at my shoes in the top of the guitar you see how the reflection is perfectly straight look at any other guitar and you'll see that it has a the, the bridge pulls up and it makes a big kind of bulbous arch here. That's because the material is, you know, pulling itself apart. And this stays sort of optically flat, which is a little wild when you find yourself up there playing and there's a spotlight reflecting back onto the crowd because the spotlight stays focused. You can aim it at people just by turning your hips a little bit this way and that. And uh, it's wild that the top stays that flat even over years of playing uh, because this material is not just for racing anymore you know you see it on fast bicycles and Ducati motorcycles but when you really learn how to do it like they have you can uh, take that strength and use it to make amazing sound that will, that will move you and the audience that came to hear you that's my opinion I love this guitar